Welcome to part 2 of the Oracle Apex Tutorial 2, Creating a Parameterized Report, brought to you by MS Consulting. On the screen is a link which contains an article with more in-depth information, as well as the starting point and requirements for this tutorial. This tutorial assumes you have done part 1 and picks up where that left off. It also is highly recommended that you have a window open with the full article in it, as there is some more advanced queries that need to be entered. I'm going to pick up right where we left off. We just finished creating our P1 text item. And now what we need to do is we need to actually create our list of values. So under shared components, we're going to say create list of values. It's going to be from scratch. I'm going to click next. We're going to give it a name. In this case, it's going to be department. And it's going to be dynamic. You will click next. Then we have to give it the query of where it's going to pull this LOV from. In this case, it's going to be select department name, comma department ID from OEHR departments. And then we say create list of values and it creates that LOV. And now we have a second LOV we need to make. Just going to click it again. It's going to be from scratch again. And this time the name is going to be managers. Again it's dynamic. Next. And then we can drop the SQL query in. Again, as with part one of this, all of these SQL queries and code segments are in the full tutorial. And once that's in, we're going to create the list of values. And now that list of values has been created. Now the next thing we're going to do now that we have this list of values is we do have to create one more item. The reason we did not create the item before is because the list that the item links to was not yet created. So we're going to come over here to create item. We're going to say select list and click next. And it's going to be a normal select list. Go next. And then we're going to give it a name. P1DEPT. And we're going to assign it to a region. It's going to be search. Click next. And now here's where we can give it the LOV. It's going to give it the department. And we're going to add a null text value. This is what will be displayed if there is no value currently in the data that's being displayed. You also have the option of putting a null value in. We need to leave that blank for this. Then we're going to give it a label. We're going to give it a label of department. Click next. Its source is all okay, so we click create and it's created. Now we have one more item to create. Again, since it's derived off an LOV and we didn't have them created yet, we're going to create another select list. So we're going to select list next and this time we're going to give it a name of P1 MGR and we're going to select a region for it and click next and then we're going to give it the managers LOV and again we're going to put the basic null text in there And I'm going to click next. I'm going to give it an, a label of managers. And everything else is good. Click next. Its source is OK. So we're going to say create item. And that creates that last item. Now we have to create a button. So under buttons, we're going to click the create icon. We going to tell it the region we're going to create it in, in this case search, and click next. Then we're going to tell it where we want the button to be placed. In this case we want to create a button displayed among the region's items. Click next. Then we have to give it a button name, in this case it's going to be go. And 
and the button's created. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a process. Under page processing, we're going to go to processes and add. What we're adding is what's called an onload process. This is going to be of a PLSQL type. So we're going to click next. We're going to give it a name. In this case, we're going to call it what it is, which is get region title information. The other defaults are OK. And I highly recommend that you copy paste in this PLSQL block. And we'll explain what it's for in a moment. Just going to slowly scroll it down here in case you do choose to copy it off the screen. And say create process. And the process is created. Now that we've done all that, we're ready to actually test it. So up on the top, we're going to click our run button. And it's going to ask us to log in. Log in. And you're going to see our search region. It's going to be up on top, the report region below, our go button. Since there's no data, you'll see that both of our drop down lists have that no value of all. And we can drop down and search by any department we want to, or by any manager. In this case, I'll select a manager and click go. And you'll see that now the data will be displayed and also the title of the area was changed to employees reporting to the manager we selected. That's what that onload process does. It alters that title in response to what's going on. That's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoyed it.